Children's Mercy is stepping up to protect teens and young adults against COVID-19. We are in a unique position to really help get it out there and give as many doses as possible. We want to get back to graduation. We want all kids in school. You'd see her speaking on TV. You'd see her quoted in the Kansas City Star. And Angie and her team helped us to protect our vulnerable patients and other vulnerable patients of the hospital. We provided vaccines to our first responders, law enforcement, fire department, um, things of that nature. We also teachers, and then we did huge vaccine um, days for, for children as well. When I treated Angie, I always knew that she was going to overcome, but I never saw her in the role of being such a confident spokesperson for Children's Mercy Hospital. I first started having knee pain in between my sophomore and junior year of high school, and I was doing a lot of cheerleading at that time. And so my mom took me to see an orthopedic surgeon. And the following morning after that, my parents came to my bedroom and woke me up with a set of crutches and told me that I had cancer. Over the course of five years, from the age of 16 till 21, I had two knee surgeries, a biopsy plus my prosthetic replacement, and I had two port-a-cath placements plus several other central line placements and three lung surgeries. From the start, she let us know she was going to be a doctor. She kind of grew up in children's mercy in that she was a patient, and then she went from being a medical student to being a resident at Children's Mercy, and it was just natural for her to stay on as faculty. So there's no doubt that advancements have been made in pediatric cancer in the last 20 plus years since I was diagnosed. But the majority of the funding for cancer research goes to adult cancers. It goes to breast cancer, it goes to colon cancer. And those are very important. And we need to do research in those and we need to find cures for those as well. But oftentimes pediatric cancers are overlooked. It's uneven the amounts of different cancers. We've improved so much and other cancers. We are just in the same place we were 30 years ago without any more things to offer. Children's Mercy is really the place to get advanced pediatric care and new and emerging research happening to care for kids and to find better treatments, better cures. Big Slick has been such a great supporter of children's cancer research in, in, at Children's Mercy. And we've made progress, we're making things better, but we're not there yet. We need more funds to be able to make more, more progress so we can cure more kids, so we can see more Angies, so we can see more kids overcome their cancer and be able to give back to their communities, become great professionals, and become great parents and great community members. Mm -hmm.